I think we were pushed early. Yeah, we weren't entirely happy with our first 15 minutes. You know, North's pressure was pretty good, but um, that's the sort of pressure we need to deal with a little bit better. As the game went on, I thought we handled that pressure better. Um, the game certainly opened up. Um, but, yeah, in terms of next week, I think we're in pretty good shape. 15 minutes doesn't sound like much to be worried about. You know, Oh, well, we worked our way through it. Yeah, I mean, you're always worried about certain things. As I've said a few times um, this season already, we're, we're not... Yes, we're very focused on the short term, and this game is really important, but we're working long term on the sort of footy we want to play um, when it really counts. Um, so every game is a bit of a work in progress for us. Next week will be the same. Matty Stokes, 30, 30 touches and three goals. have been really his best game for the club. Yeah, I can't really comment on that, but it's, it's the best game I've seen him play. Um, we've got a lot of guys that can play through the midfield and Stokes is one of those. He, he could be a genuine on-baller. Um, the fact that he pushed up, um, got a little bit, of, bit more of the ball was a real positive today, um, but we know he can hit the scoreboard as well. In fact, we thought our forward structure was a bit average at times um, and Stokes is the one that generally goes back there and fixes that up and you know, that, that was what we were more impressed with rather than his, his numbers. Because you mentioned uh, next week already, when, when did you start locking on to, to next week? You know, it is a short week. Do you, do you start from now or do you look pretty well? Yeah, as soon as the siren went, we, we look forward. And, but that's no different to any other week. Um, we, we enjoy the win for you know, an hour or two and then we start moving forward. And you know, the review of this game will be about how we want to play long term. So, so, when, you, so when do you lock the players' minds onto the, the, the task? Well, I'm in the fortunate position where I don't really need to do that. Um, they're really good at locking each other into the task. Um, they certainly won't let individuals get ahead of themselves um, and they won't let the coaching staff get ahead of themselves either. So um, in that respect, our job is pretty easy. But we know we've got an enormous challenge in front of us. It's the biggest challenge in footy. Uh, I think the whole football world accepts that everyone's behind Collingwood at the moment. Um, but we're doing our best to, to get up to their level. You say the focus is sort of all about that long-term improvement and so on, but does this match, you know, coming up next week, still have a bit of an extra edge to it in the position of the team itself? Oh, it's another chance um, to test ourselves against really good opposition. Um, the winner of next week's game won't have a massive impact on the season, I wouldn't have thought. If whichever side loses, I don't think they'll think that their season's shot. Um, but it's a chance for us to test what we're doing against what is clearly the best side in the competition. Is Brad Oldham's OK? Yeah, he is. He's had a really high workload. Um, we've chosen to play one genuine Ruckman every game this season. He's played every game. He's been a little bit sore, so we've been fortunate that we've had two really good breaks. We had a 12-day break and, a, and a, I think a 10-day break. Um, so whenever Brad sort of started to show signs of soreness, we were always going to be safe with him. He started to get a little bit sore towards the end of the first half. We thought about subbing him a little bit later into the third quarter, but didn't see the value in that. So, like with a few of our players, we're always going to be safe rather than sorry. So, do you think that will happen in any doubt for the next one? Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so, but it's a really hard question to answer now. Um, we'd like to think that um, we were proactive with him, so he'll be okay for next week. Did you have any misgivings about um, having to throw moving on or giving him the extra work or did he benefit from that? No, I think he benefited from that. Um, he, he played a little bit sort of in defence, a little bit behind the ball. Um, we were really pleased with him. He showed he can compete really well in the ruck and he's done that a few times this year. Um, the misgivings were around making a sub so early. Um, we accepted that was a risk um, and fortunately we got away with it. What's the situation with Steve Johnson? Oh, he's, he's had a little bit of shoulder soreness. Um, he was really close to playing this week, but it was one of those things that's been around for a few weeks. And it's got to the point where there hasn't been any improvement, even with the long breaks. So we were concerned that he was taking so long to recover um, with really long breaks that his recovery for a Collingwood game with a six-day break was going to be severely impacted. So, again, he's one of a group of players that... Where there's doubt, we'll be safe. What do you think uh, sort of caused the team to pick into gear today? So, you know, it's tight from half back to the second quarter, and then from then on, you should dominate for the rest of that half and start with the next quarter. Yeah, as I said earlier, I think we handled the pressure a little bit better. Um, and, and every side has that challenge in front of them at the moment. Um, modern defence um, is really good, and I think every team playing at their best can defend really well and put some pressure on the, on the ball. 
Um, we we handled the pressure a bit more, got it forward a little bit more, um, and the game opened up a little bit. But we're really pleased with the way our boys are running our games. You know, we, we did add to their workload through the pre-season. Um, we're rotating a little bit heavily, heavier, um, getting a bit more um, of an even contribution. And we think that's manifesting in some great running power late in games. Do you think it makes any difference to... I can only comment on us and we've had two good breaks and we've been really impressed with um, the energy levels of our players. Must have been nice to make a bit of history on, on a couple of fronts today. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, to be honest, it doesn't mean a hell of a lot to me. I've inherited a fantastic um, football team, um, and I'm, I'm I'm part of a you know a, a club that's had some success over a long period of time. But I haven't heard it mentioned internally once. I don't think it's the sort of thing that that drives these players. Um, but they are a very motivated group and continue to be so. So we understand that. Um, when we lose a game, which is inevitable, we'll lose a game at some stage, that that motivation will be questioned. But we're just going to make sure that we bounce back and, and keep pushing. And it'll wind up on your brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, over the long term, it'll balance itself out, I'm sure. Just on the ground, Chris, how big have you said is it in a game playing since you've come here from the outside as a player and part of the coaching groups? And it, you know how difficult it is to come here now from the inside. How much does it mean playing that? Well, it, I mean, it's only our second game here in a real AFL game um, while I've been coach. Uh, look, clearly we play the ground really well. Um, I know playing on the ground myself and, and, and coaching um, an interstate side playing at this ground, it is, it is very different. Um, how much impact it has is really hard to quantify, but our boys feel really comfortable here. I suspect the opposition feel a little uncomfortable here. So in a competition that's really even and, and a fine line, you know, there is a fine line in a good performance and a bad performance, maybe that has a more significant impact than it ever has. Last, last one on the Twins thing. Yep. When will you next week? I mean, do you, would you give him a call or do you think he'd give you a call? I mean, what, what yeah, you... I don't know. We haven't planned anything, but I'll speak to him in the next few days, I think. Yeah, we don't. We, we certainly don't schedule timing to talk during the week, but uh, it does happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, he'd be disappointed at the moment. Um, you know, and, and I, I feel for him a little bit there, but um, you know, he'll, he'll move forward just the way we're moving forward for next week. So, um, I wouldn't think we'd spend much time talking about the game at all. Cameron Link next week, is that a wait and see? Or uh, it's a wait and see, yeah, but I'll be really hopeful with Lingy. He just, again, he's in a little bit of the same boat as some of the others. So with a long break, um, he, he just wasn't training well enough for us to be super confident um, of him playing this week. But we train um, again significantly on Tuesday, and assuming he gets through that, then, then he'll be right to go.